These setting volumes hey, down these combo sounds. Technicians don't always get the preset right. Why would that be so loud? Go to the options menu to change your match time. Match time. Oh. I might be playing my game tonight too. So. <laughs> well, I'm due to play mine at uh, about half nine. So we can plug that right. shamelessly. Let's just tell the world <laughs> that we're live. What are we doing first? Dancing. I don't know. What do you want to do first? <laughs> I have no preference. Well, I'd quite like I to... I actually looked at the play pools very much now, so... But I'd quite like to do mine, because I'm going to play my game tonight. Alright, where are you? I think there's um, been one game played, but that's about it. I'm in ACE D and D. One game has been played. Yeah, this came up in the game. The game results. Yeah. So what we'll do, we'll let people work out what's going on, and then we'll. Um... <laughs> We're talking about people now. No. <laughs> right. Oh gosh. We are streaming already, aren't we? Yeah, it's, it's clearly on stream. You've just told the MML they don't know what's going on. So, uh, Rand, put out a job advert for um, another Ooh. presenter, because we're going to lose ours. Yeah, yeah he's going to go. Well, Jim's playing in an hour's time. I'm playing in about two hours' time. Rand, you're playing soon. It's just crazy. Right, ACE, yeah. D&D. That's where I. That's where I'd like to start because, hey, it's my show and that's my team in there. <laughs> well. Yeah. Uh, All right. Overkill is um, has just been put in his place. Um, I've still got Duran being hosted on your stream, by the way. What's that? I've still got Duran showing as being hosted on your stream. Oh, well, I can see me. So. Well, Jim's Jim's there, and he's asking if uh, you two are keeping this train on the tracks. We've got Hez is weeing at something. I don't really get that. And Pandas said he's in. Happy new season, everybody. So we're up on the road. The train has started. So let's start in ACE D and D. Where my beautiful team is. <laughs> Fearon has asked what seasons what uh, has been covered so far. So far, we've covered that Dio thinks that the MML has no clue what's going on, and that Rand's playing in about an hour's time, and I'm playing in two hours' time. That's all I'm we know. Jim's playing an hour's hour. Yeah, Jim. Jim's playing an hour. Somebody's playing in an hour. Lots of games today. It's, you know, yes. Hype, right? Indeed. Right, let's go to the Dark Elves. My Cardiff Devils. Start this show on the road. <coughs> so, Rand, tell me all about this team, because it's wrong if I do it. <laughs> What's your I thoughts? I like this team. Um, it's very... I mean, it's underdeveloped, obviously, but it's nice low TV with some good skills, right? Yeah. Um, we're missing Very one healthy. player. <laughs> We're not, missing a two on healthy. Lots of blodge. I think it's a good, a good foundations. The thing I yeah. don't like. I don't like. I've got uh, the the um number eleven, number twelve on the team sheet is missing the game. I, I'm not a, worried about him too much. It's the guy above him, number eleven, is carrying a niggling injury. That that bothers me a lot because they leave the pitch quick. Agility 3 I can deal with, Niggles is harder to deal with, but both are a stone's throw from skilling and getting blodged, which makes them very good, so it's difficult. Um, one Witch, both died last season, so, well no, one died, one was saved, and then the other one died again. Um, but we did bring in, from Jofro, I don't even know if he's watching, the Master, number 3. So he uh, will be making his debut this evening. 
block dodge mighty blow in 14 games three casualties yeah all block line elves so, uh, fox apart from the guard so how about a little like how do they how have they been this is their second season with, with, with them this now? is their second season last season i think i had two wins a draw and four losses um no it's not pro team it's a, a challenge team um not what i hoped for i had two horrible games against higher tv um opponents that just caused me nothing but bother um there was the Dark Elves doing whatever they wanted with their two Witch Elves. That's where I lost two Witch Elves. And his had Armor Bust and a Niggle. And I've got a wrestle up on this lady here. She's my fan favorite. Um, I don't like wrestle on Linos. Burzo's in the town and the house. Um, so they didn't perform as I wanted, but I can't complain because I didn't also want to push hard for promotion, putting players on the line. I wanted to settle for the season get them bedded in and i seem to have gone backwards so who knows who knows what i was playing at um i think having um oh clown thinks a wrestle witch is controversial i run two wrestle witches so i beg to differ um the master picking up mighty okay. blow becomes my killer that's useful um i've got a runner which i didn't have to start the season so it's had a little bit of development in places. I've got no bank. That's worrying. So we'll get through the first two games. So yeah. Yeah, I was just trying to read up on some fluff. <laughs> ooh, ooh, news just in. Burzo has pulled a big cross-platform qualifying win. So that puts you into the... Am I... Right in saying, Burzo, you're in the final for the cross-platform qualifier. That's big news. Because I believe there is two representatives from the MML in the cross-platform. At the moment, let me just see. Um, there is... No. No. Fanfox, he's one of ours, isn't he? Gerd's one of ours. V Power's one of ours. And myself. So Burzo could complete the team. So yes. That's that's the Dark Elves anyway. I don't think there's much more to say. We don't want to give no secrets away. Um, but the Tafe Tigers. Uh, well, I, my plan is... Don't tell anyone, but to score more touchdowns than everybody else. <laughs> That's mine. Yes. So, Tafe Tigers, Big Badger. I've played this team, I think, three seasons now in a row. Um, and every season, I get hurt more and more by them. <laughs> yeah, I, I love them. Like that. They, <laughs> they're great. They've been around forever, and... Not forever, but they've been around a while. They keep on yeah. trying, you know? And they're, they're, they're getting developed nicely now. Well, so. when I first played this side, I believe he had no rerolls. Um, and he only had three warriors, and one of them had a strength bust. So, uh, yeah, they, they've developed a little bit. They're looking good. They're looking they look good. Like they're beat up, but they're looking great. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, he's got yeah, three... Claw players with Mighty Blow, so they're going to cause damage along the road. Um, there's no tackle that I can see, so I like that. Um, very little guard. Very little guard, which could cause him bother against the other Bashir sides, especially the Kemri. Minotaur's are, um, two points off skilling up. Um, I don't know where he'll take that, probably Claw. Speed the process up. It depends. I don't... I'm looking at this team and I'm just like, there's, there's three claw, are they, are they out there trying to murder other teams or is that just, are they just building this team? No, I, I've Dude, played, everything. I've played Badger a few times and I definitely do not get the impression he's just out to try and murderize another team. Um, I get the impression that he's trying to build a chaos team as a chaos team should possibly be built. 
uh, he, at no point has he gone out of his way to target and destroy when I've played him he doesn't stick the boot in unnecessarily he's trying to get the ball he's trying to turn over he's trying to score and I think that's a valid point as we're starting to go to shut the door if we start to go through other teams you can question what's the team's motives and when you play the coach behind the team that tells a big story but this guy I think tries to get the score he tries to play the ball or get the ball that's just my thoughts on him he's a nice guy I love that he has take off return yeah that <laughs> I think it's great he's going block first which is a nice way to start with chaos though. they're getting a pretty nice looking team though I mean, we've fun to play them. I don't think anybody would be too scared but. no glow I haven't said anything stupid like have a good season <laughs> but I will say that you forgot to buy a ghoul during the transfer so uh yeah, Clown's pointed out he's got no piling on yet. Oh, uh, I mean, he's a, yeah, and, and he's he's not too close, I guess. No. But, I mean, they could all have it by the end of the season. <laughs> yeah, they could do. Um, long way to go. Berzo's going to come back later. He's got to go and celebrate. So, let's move on to Hornet. Hornet now is my first opponent. Hoping to play in, uh, love you too, Berzo, in about two hours, hour and a half time. Humans. And the first thing I liked about this team was there's no ogre. Because I've got to play them. No ogre. I like this. They still look... And this team looks great. Yeah. <laughs> I, I like humans. I'm a human guy. I like the human team. But, I mean, he's built it really well. Um, I don't know. Is there any, is there any stuff on this one? Oh, Are Overkill's here? talking about joining. Yeah, join us in, Overkill. At the moment, Dio's being quiet because he's playing a game. Um, and, and I don't think he knows what day it is. You know, he claims the MML don't know what they're <laughs> doing. We're not convinced he does. So uh, join in, Overkill, and, and, and have a chat, by all means. Humans, yeah, he's got this piling on killer blitzer, which every team needs a killer. I've got no issues with this. Um, welcome, Overkill. Hello, what team we are? What team we're, we're on the humans. Hornet. Yeah, Winning yeah. winning our chat group as such some people are tipping this team to win the division. So that'll be yeah, interesting. Oh, See it's there really he is. Good coach and it's well rounded. Um two catchers but no bench. So they they oh they're armor eight in this game, aren't they? They should be armor seven, but never mind, they are what they are. Um lower strength. <laughs> they're more expensive though, so well, in this, right? well in this yeah, game pylon yeah. works a hell of a lot better than tabletop as well, so it does under the new Brings rules, yes. Off. It does under the new rules, yes. I mean, this team has more piling on than the chaos, so... <laughs> Mill's asking how many player pools tonight. Probably two, maybe three. Let's see how we get on. Because um, I know people are desperate to play games. I'm hoping for one about half past nine. So two or three pools will do. Overkill played his. Um, we'll get onto his team in a bit. I believe it was not a victory. Um, no. No. Because I watched some my of it. Didn't... Yeah, most of my team got knocked out. <laughs> they got beat up a bit by some Kemrys, which we'll get onto those as well. So, yeah, I mean, I like this team. I like okay. what they're doing. Agility 4 thrower. He's got Acura. He's, you know, he's all about the passing game. It's a shame that there's humans on the end of it. So it'd be no, interesting to see how it goes. Jim makes there's a good point. Hornet, Hornet is no more dwarves and now he's humans. I mean, that's a good switch, right? Yes. Yes. <laughs> that's a foolish move. <laughs> see, here's the thing for you. Everybody hates dwarves. Everybody hates elves. But I for love dwarves. And people I hate elves. elves. But, but for some reason, they don't seem to dislike all the filthy chaos vermin unless they've got more than four claw I'm not, I'm, I'm not I don't like that thank you very much can you take that back please no <laughs> <laughs> um, someone's po pointed out the thrower's got dump off that's interesting that's an annoying skill I'll need to keep that in mind yeah I've heard I of... think it's a little early I mean it's a, it's a nice pick but it's a little early I think 
add yeah. to up right afterwards. Like. <laughs> I think, for me, the it's a fantastic annoying skill. Dark Elves is what makes them strong against the likes of Wood Elves, but it's not necessarily something I'd be picking. Well, if you, f if you forget it's there, it's even more powerful. Like, I always forget about it. The trouble I'll with run the somebody in the dump off. Yeah, the the um the trouble I've got with that is he's dumping off to agility three mostly. Um which doesn't make a reliable catch and part of the well, strength that, that the guy's got, that guy's got a diving catch, so he's gonna catch it all the time, right? Well, not if he's dead. <laughs> I just <laughs> think some that's some strong it, words it, from an elf player. This is that's like, the way people beat dead. me. They kill my players. <laughs> that's the only way you lose. What if people beat my players? Kill my players? Yeah. I, I've I've lost many a game. Believe you me. Um. I just like I like I like humans. I think the team looks good. Yes. Um, I did not get a chance to read their story. Cause it's a new team, so they would have posted one. So I need to go back. To I, there, but. I haven't read that yet. Oh. See, Cavalier's saying, what's up, Brits and Rand? Now, we've got a Welshman and a Scotsman. I don't know if you'd necessarily call us Brits. So we'll I'm leave English, that there. Right? Uh, yes. Um, Look, we've got it covered. we got it covered. But uh, I'd like to point out, the British flag, the Union flag, has got no Welsh in it. Not that I'm bitter. Well, sorry, we don't want to slap a dragon in middle of it. We got the yeah, best flag in the planet. It's got a fucking dragon in the middle of it. Well, no, you've got the second best. The rampant lion still beats it, but no, no. dragons are bloody close. The, we, the need, we need an Irishman lines. in here to cover it all out. I'm just not going to even get into this. No, no <laughs> monk involved. He'll just... Monk would join us, but he doesn't know what day it is to so leave him out. Ah, oh, dear. So, yeah, uh, humans. I like them. I, I'm a bit stunned that there's only... Uh, 11 players, maybe saving for that ogre position because an ogre brings a lot of value to the team. An ogre's um, 140k, um, is it? Yeah, so that could be on the purchase list. A mediocre roll after his first game, ogre straight in. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Uh, two re rolls is interesting. Did the thrower have leader? I don't think he did. No. No. Um, but so, I mean. He's got lots of blocks. Oh, he's got blocks in the right place. He's got a wrestle lineman uh, with Fend, which is uh, the red hand of Ulster. Now that's a flag. It is a flag, but it's not a dragon. You know, he's got Laser. some uh, foul player as well. He has got playing a foul ten people class. with it. playing yeah. eleven people with a fa fouler build is a bit weird. Yeah, it's, but it's early days. He's in the CL for a reason. Um, normally, because he's developing a team. Either that or they've just come yep. down from the pros. So, you know. This is the first season, so... Uh, yeah, so I get where it is. The hu the ogre might be in, keep it off, get it ready, buy early on. Right, goblins. I hate goblins. Stupid. What? You hate they, them? They hurt you? everything. They just Chains turn up. What's great about them? They... Kill everything, and then they hire yeah, some they extra people to kill up. stuff, and then they bribe referees and kill some more shit. Um, well, against me, he's gonna probably have two chances, so plenty of bribes. My team's just gonna die. Yeah, this is what I'm saying. Uh, what's he got? He's got some sidestepping goblins. Don't care about them. He's got a block goblin. Now that's block. interesting. Two block goblins. That's two. amazing. Um, he's got, he's got grab on his uh, fanatic as well. Grab on the Fnatic. That's yeah, that's cool. And Mighty Blow. This dude looks amazing. I love yeah. This. It's just... How do you the goblins. The thing is, we know already that this team here is... Um, everyone's going to want them to win the division. Every game he plays in, everyone's going to cheer for this guy here. Because he's playing stunties in amongst a, a, a division of real teams, if you want. It's a bit harsh, well, he's more I likely to blow himself up than to blow other teams up. Yeah. That's why you root for them. He made the cladder playoffs with goblins. <laughs> now, I do believe, whilst that sounds really impressive, that just meant he was the top goblin player. So, mm. but oh, fair man. play. Making cladder is with goblins means you have to play them. I played them in a tournament. They did my head in. 
He just couldn't work it. Two seasons ago. He's, he's, he's this team's beat up. There's only, you know, they're starting with a loner. And yeah. One, so. Which is gonna <laughs> hurt. Bench, though, because you know they're, they're gonna have inducements, because but they're still a little not a, not as. Well, this is it. You you score against these boys, and all of a sudden it's um a different game. He's down two players. Has he got a ball and chain? He's got a mighty blow there. He's yeah. got Looney in the ball and chain. Yeah. So he's down two players straight away. Dogs. And then you've only got a sort of sniff in the right direction. Two more goblins to die. Thing is, though, with these uh, inducements, you can take, it can take, you know, another chance or some of the good plays to do yeah. it out. And it, yeah, he's... Even yeah, against he the new entries, he's coming up with 300k. <laughs> I know, it's brutal, isn't it? Absolutely brutal. Yeah, I'm not sure. I don't like goblins. Right, overkill. Let's talk about Stop your up. boys. <laughs> Chaos Warrior injured after the first game. Yeah. What, what else have we got? Some tackle, some claw. I like that. That's nice. Um, two core players, one with tackle. That ball carrier, is he ball carrier? With strength four? Yeah. Block, dodge, extra arms, two heads, strength. That's nice. Short hands will complete him. And maybe that's, big hands. They were going to get short hands next, but then when I rolled the dice, it was like, do you want a strength four? I'm like, I and he was like, up. Yeah, okay, I love that. Um, so he's got, you know, 86 points before he gets his next skill. So, uh, yeah, he'll have to wait and see. But he's picking up on twos, dodging on twos. I like that. It's a bit light. Are you planning to buy players? I don't know. I, I, I want to buy an extra player, but I want to try and keep myself a bit lower because currently I'm the highest TV in the league. In our yeah. Pod. I don't want to give too many chainsaws out. Well, it is I a risk. I want to keep some money just to blow up some, for a transfer, just in case, like, one yeah. of my Chaos Warrior dies. That unskilled Chaos Warrior really needs to go. I need to get somebody that's, you know... Well, Geo's has said that your team was tough to deal with, so there's the compliment if ever you needed one. Um, yeah, I, it was be... rough to deal with when I had seven players on the pitch, then three. <laughs> When he's, it's, he's, he's t Kemri, are really brutal. They come out swinging hard. Yeah, yeah. You got to avoid the the control that they can deliver. You really do. But you're fifteen yeah, ten with a hundred and seventy off the list. So when you're fully functioning, it's eighty. Uh, sorry, sixteen eighty. That's a big amount of TV. Yep. Yeah, Geo has said if you're giving out inducements, we might have, might as well have a fouling piece. I'm not a fouling kind of guy. I like claws instead. Oh, that's okay. Um, you you just lost Ryan's respect. Oh. <laughs> I foul a bit, but I'm not like I'm not one of those guys that's going to go out deliberate to just to jump on your team. No, but you cut them up with claws instead. Every, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Get the first the first goal gives every line is a dirty player. So. Oh, dear. <laughs> dirty player. Yes. Yeah, so player. that's the chaos. These have not got pylon. Not yet. Who are these? No, oh, no, the, I'm not the, the Kemri. Let's have a look at these Kemris. Geo's Stupid in the chat, Kemri. so we've got to be Let's... polite. And they just beat the snot out of Overkill. Bless him. I'm not being polite. <laughs> Stupid Kemri. So, hey, four hey, Guardians. Hey. Kemri's amazing. Gave full on, and I love his team. Just going to say that. Yeah. Right. Look at that agility three thrower. We like this. This guy is built for business. And he's a score away from going up another... Level. I couldn't get my claws on him. He wouldn't matter. He's armor seven. No, but I just want—I want to get one of my claw pieces. In, well, one of my kill pieces. We might have blow into him. Well, look what he did. He went guard first, which is not a very popular build, but that's well, strength five guards. Like, you're not gonna get a <coughs> see, lot, a if lot you want to win games, there. guard wins games. Mighty blow. Guards. Can, yeah, my, yeah, guard I'd, every I'd time. Guard. It's just slow progression. <coughs> Garden block wins games. That throw right, up, blodging with agility three, is just golden. This this team is amazing. I, yeah. I, I wouldn't say I'm I'm a good Kemri coach, but I do enjoy Kemri, and this team is perfect. The only thing I think that would make it better is if there was a dirty player, but it's just. He's got a kicker. That's interesting. <laughs> I so think he love can. It. I love it. I put I kick on Joe Ross. So, I wouldn't put it on a skeleton because he's going to be on the line a lot. Yeah. Unless you start it, it, two guns. The skeleton was not on the line. 
It's just all Tomb Guards. Yeah, Which straight out the farm. Wow. Interesting. It's an interesting setup. Well, Two when they've rolls. all got guard, it's just really hard to get a, a, a single dice on them. Yep. Yes, it is. Beautiful. Yes. Sickly. I like that too. And then they're hitting. They're, they're hitting you back with three dice. Yeah. yeah. No, no issue. <laughs> See, a, apparently a oh, wise no. coach has lured him into giving Fen to his skeletons instead of block. There we go. I, I like this wise gym. cloak. I don't know, so I quite just... like this wise cloak because that means my mighty blow guy can still smash you in the face, not need to follow up, and you might die easier. Yeah. <laughs> but you're right, it is good just, for positioning. They're just dead peasants, they're, they're just skeleton peasants at that point, right? Yeah. <laughs> Dead peasants. That's the best description I've ever heard. Dead best peasants. Kind of peasant. Right, Cavalier Archer. Cavalier Archer. Let's have a look. I'm told, I'm led to believe and I am told that this team is coming last. It's in it for shits and giggles. Um, and he's got no intention of doing anything useful. Uh, I disagree with him. I yeah. Know. Well, he's got a strength four wolf. They're both bludging. Yeah, that's why I disagree with him. He's got a busted up. He's got a nice tackle, killer white. His golems are in a good place, and he's got a ghoul. Oh, where's Glowworm? Glowworm must be here. He's got a ghoul in his team. Look, you know that player you forgot <laughs> to bring in. What's a ghoul? <laughs> a ghoul? That's one of those things that are supposed to carry people, the ball. Uh, I didn't know people used ghouls anymore. Oh, who, who carries balls with ghouls? Ghouls. Who, use, who uses ghouls? What's pointing them? Don't need them. They're good. I think I played this team second game. I think. I so play if, Hornet second. So if you could destroy this team for me, someone, that'd be awesome. Who's got this team? I don't know. Well, I don't know. if somebody goes after his one goal. Yeah, he's got then carry with a wolf, or the white, or or a skeleton. Which, Fuck does it. He, does he mind? Yeah, does it doesn't matter. Flash goal. Let's go. Good team. Necro, yeah. Necro is already a good team and he's built it well. So. Yes, he has. But I'm finding this he's got interesting. A really nice oh, he's playing the goblins first. This could be good. Because they could smash the shit out of him with loads of inducements, kill all his key players, and then I just play zombies. Make it happen. Oh, that's not nice. That's not nice. Sorry, did I say that all out loud? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a chainsaw might get towards one of them um, wolves. Maybe. 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 So, uh, um, last in the group. Though, so they're not as scary, right? So they're not as scary as they could be. Kaiser in the la is the last in the group with his Norse. So we've got quite a low RAV division. So the claw isn't getting to full effect, really. I like Norse. I like Norse. They're good. Oh, look, What's these this? guys have Fen Lineman too. <laughs> Fend on Norse Lyman keeps them alive. Yeah, but the, I like. Yeah. <laughs> they already have block though, that right? So. Yeah, I they like already have block. Norse. Yeah. Norse are great. I love them. I do they like them. The, they feel like they're supposed to be bashy, yeah. but they just don't have the armor to bash. No, they kill they shit before they get hit. Combo. Wrestle Fend, yeah. Yeah. But Norse are probably one of the bashiest teams. Oh, they're brutal. When they get going, you just have to hit them first and then they all die. That Yeti yeah. looks disgusting. I don't know, I quite like that Yeti. He could do a number on your team and the Kemri for me. Yeah, I, he could... I was hoping that this would be the first game. Kemri, no, Yeti would rip some Kemri well, up for me. I'm hoping that Yeti's my best player for the season, as he kills everybody else's team. That's what I'm hoping. <laughs> So are these fresh out the box as well, straight out of the farm. Yeah, these. There these they are. Fresh are. out of the farm. I've, pl I've played these in the farm, I think. So we are looking at returning teams: my Dark Elves, uh, Badger's Chaos, Overkill's Chaos, and I think that's it. I think Yud Yud Scobos are re not returning, this, but I think they've, they're not farm fresh. I think. I'm not sure. They're not. Did they get dropped last season or something? 
Right, uh, Tirano's asking if I start Norse with a Yeti. The answer is I would yes. Purely because you need to get points on them quick as possible to make him that killer piece they, they need. Um, that's my view. Um, I'm not saying I'm always right, but that's how I start them to get that Yeti as soon as he can get usually says that he's always right. <laughs> um, the sooner we get out and running, well. yeah, the same presence is useful. But I'm just, you're calling, you're calling it. He, he's a needed piece, right, Mike? Because he's a killer. So you're saying it's you not need the killer. It's not yeah. just that. I think Norse without him are lacking something. <clears throat> they're good, power. but they're lacking so they're something. Lacking what a lot of they're, they're la la lacking what a lot of teams are lacking, which is claw, right? Um, no, I they mean, the Eddie. Their, their average movement of six and seven, um, they don't have the agility, something like the Dark Elves might have. They've got a lot of block, but Dwarves, their opposite, if you like, have got the armor to compensate, so they're going to break quickly. If you've got a team that's going to break quickly, you need to break the other team quicker, otherwise you run out of players before they do. And that's where the Yacht the Eti, I think, makes the difference. That's just my view. I could be talking shit. I think the Yetis are fun. They are fun. I like them. They are fun. So who's winning this division? We already know Overkill's calling for Hornet. Hornet are you? I think you're going to be top two. Hornet and you, Hawker. What do you reckon? I'm the division and I, I, I don't think... There's bad matchups for the, the Camry except for maybe... The Negro, but I don't think there's really bad natural swamp, so I think they have a good chance of taking it. Yeah. Oh, Laser's calling Necro for the win, although he said he's not going to. Um, I think when you look at the division, the Necro, not the Necro, the Kemri have got the tools to do well. Um, their biggest yes, issue. They the ball up. Well, they've got an agility three guys, so they're working they on the same. They're, they're, yeah. They're better. <laughs> the thing is, though, if he's at home, he doesn't have a he doesn't have a weather dome. Yeah, but weather's hard to get on the table anyway. Um, oh no! But so if he goes into a game <coughs> where it rains, then apart from the dark elves, yeah. apart from the dark elves, he's picking up on the same as what the other team are anyway. Wait. Well, not ne not necessarily. He's a lot of him. He's only got one guy that's picking up on the same as everybody else. The rest yes. of his guys are picking up on fives. Yeah. My CCL, my CCL Camry won a playoff game in the rain against Vampire. Just saying. Yeah. So it, it I think done. he's got the strength to be able to deal with every team in there um, on a strength basis. The only teams that aren't going to fight him strength-wise are the Dark Elves and the Goblins just do what the fuck they want anyway. Um, if the ball spills loose again it's the Dark Elves that are the threat but the Dark Elves are never going to try and match them strength for strength so they're playing a different ball game to what the Camry does where everyone else in that division seems to be playing not that dissimilar sort of game humans can mix it up that would be an interesting game to watch um, I think Norse are just going to get broken or they're going to break the Necro, Cavalas the good coach the so I don't know and it just didn't work out. I managed to stall in the first half at the cost of half my team. Yeah. And then the second well, half, I, because I had nobody left. The issue with the Necro is the, the pieces they need to be removing are the Tomb Guardians or avoid them. Um, and their hitters are, or claw guys are strength three, uh, which is not great. Unless he can pick up some strength bonuses or something like that. So here's 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 the big thing is there's a pretty much all these teams are in contention. They're all going to have yeah. A it's looking tight. Season. So it's it's going to be a pretty good play pool. But um, there's not one that looks better than the other. Like the the, the chaos, no. the, the Tave Tigers look a little bit more ready to start winning. You know. Yeah. Um, but other than that, I mean, it's pretty even across the board. So it should be fun. <laughs> we love you, Cav. I, I like, um, I think the early game between me and Hornet's going to be a big one as the uh, pans out. I yeah, think. Do me a favour. What's that? some Hornet's players. I think if I can get through the first couple of games and pick up a witch, 
um, or get some bank behind us that could help but Hornets like we're looking at now is Blitzer is killer Blitzer is a nice piece he's got a nice sprinkling of guard a little bit of movement he's in a nice place his team's all round solid I think yeah definitely he's not missing anything really on his just the ogre they just need to develop they need to develop more mm. but I wouldn't say they're weak in any regard no I think for this division largely speaking it's got to be the schedule, the way it pans out, who plays who, and the damages gets done. Because there's a good handful of teams so, that can win. Can we just? I mean, you guys keep talking about like players, need, like the, the, they need to die, right? You want them, you want players to die before you play them to make your game easier, right? Um, they don't have to die. I just have to miss my oh. game. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can mean, still have for rest of season. I feel, I feel like you'd, I mean, for me, I want to, I would want to play all my opponents at max strength, just, you know, yeah. which is not, it's not how it works in a non-resurrection place, right? But, um, I don't, I mean, yeah, I don't know. I just, when people mention, like, I hope he kills, you know, he's my favorite player, he's going to kill the rest of them. He played for, you know? I think... These are players these guys have developed, dude, there's a lot of stories yeah. out there for these guys. I think, um, uh, there's a lot of, so I, I agree I with you. You're saying that you want them to... You want them to die, it's kind of, I don't know. Not really no, no, I, I think... don't want them to die. I just want them to miss my game. I think, I'm just clarifying. if I'm so. honest, I think maybe um, from my perspective, misunderstanding what I didn't explain properly, is I think the, the way this will unfold largely depends on how attrition hits different teams, which happens in a Blood Bowl League. I, I, I <laughs> like you say, want to play any team that's put in front of me and what suits one coach won't suit another coach i don't care if the yeti's on the field whereas the i think the Camry might do you know because the to nature of the to two different teams um difficult to pick a winner as they said in the chat as well any number of people could potentially win this division it's a nice tight division i like it i like it and you got a few wild cards chucked in there i mean the goblins are going to cause upset to somebody and some people six, um, get, get lucky three or four games you know? yeah and all of a sudden they're winning the division so yeah well, well we, Slings we saw it really well last and, season well and well Yud's a great coach with them too and this is his second mm. season with them so and yeah I think he's ready to you know so but, so you know, it's still with them it's still 50% chance of just imploding right so <laughs> yeah if that with, with lack of players so we, we're yeah. not sure quite who's top we're looking at humans dark elves possibly Kemri some people are saying necro so that's all of the division really who's finishing bottom you could put me down on you could put me down on Kemri I'm gonna call them ah. right <laughs> who's who's finishing who's bottom? bottom probably me <laughs> so we're saying overkill's chaos so Set, far I'm setting my bar high <laughs> massively high luck. If I say it low, I can always come above it. If I say it too high, <laughs> I can disappoint myself. You Set need to change low. your name from Overkill to Optimist. I don't think <laughs> I don't think last is going to be very last. You know, I mean, no. it's going to be a pretty. Everybody's going to get some wins, I think, and I think it's going to be pretty tight. So, um, I don't think it'll be a blowout either way, but it'll probably be. For me, I think it'll probably be the, the, the Norse. I don't think they match up well against them. I was going to say, it depends how well the Norse is... At, well, not armor hold, but how well the injury rolls happen on yeah, them. Yeah, this is it. Attrition's going to kick in. I don't envy them. But they're also capable of lot, dealing damage. There's a lot of people with the heavy hitting teams. We've got some Mighty Blow in there. And Mighty Blow doesn't work well with Norse. Yeah, it'd be interesting. I think the Goblin's going to get away with murder. Because they're going to lose players, but they can also replace them nice and easy. Um, well, how much money has he got banked up? Who's the Goblin coach? Oh, no. Yeah, he's only got 20k. Yeah. I don't think... But that's half a player right there. Well, yeah. But it depends <laughs> how many he loses in his first game. Well, the thing is, though... Correct me if I'm want, wrong to all the Goblin coaches out there. If he loses a couple of Goblins, he just gets loaner ones, and they work just as well. Yeah, but then they become a liability on the rerolls if you need them to do something. Yeah, but if you're relying on goblins they to do stuff a too much, God, right? so. yeah, if you're relying on goblins to do too much, then already your game plan's gone wrong, hasn't it? Well, yeah. Does he have a Nuffles altar? Uh, yes, he does. He does have Nuffles altar, so we could see Ripper. We could see cheap 
chainsaws and ball and chains and stuff like that. His what games are going to be fun to watch. Oh, oh yeah, no, fun to play in. It's going to be mayhem. It's going to be great. Absolutely. <laughs> and it's their second season. They, they're coming back, so they, they've been around. Oh. Can I just I like say, Rand, I'm, I'm going to contradict you, and I haven't done this before, but there's no way the Kemri are finishing top now, because Gio's actively gone on chat and said that Nuffle loves him. We all know that's a curse. Well, he's, he did get a skeleton to dodge out on like a 4-5 plus, but this is fine. I followed it back with a 6-up Kemri... dodge into a blitz. But you don't actively tell people that Nuffle loves you, because then he oh, changes no. his mind. Oh, you just grumble about him. You say he hates you. Oh, dear. I don't know. I, I, he's still doing it. I, that team is built. Oh, it's a brilliant well. team. I think it'll be fun. It's going to be It's gonna be fun. It'll be a lot of fun to watch these games. So. Yes, it will. Right, let's, let's have a look at another division. Let's have a look at a different division because... Where are we going? I don't know. I'm trying should to navigate be, the... Should I pull a haka and say, let's go to mine? Let's do that. <laughs> what division you want, Rand? He doesn't he don't, even know. He doesn't know what division <laughs> he's in. <laughs> no, I'm trying to find I can't it. say too much because I would need to look mine up as well. <laughs> and you're playing. First four, uh, right? <laughs> yeah, first four. No pressure, but the clock's on and we're live. <laughs> <laughs> I've, only, I've only been a pro for... This is only my second season as a pro. So but we're, we're saying CPR, oh, somebody is. No, it's first four NSC. F4. Uh, uh, hang on. Monks telling me what division I'm in. All right. Right, here we go. Directed by an Irishman. Her I'm not used to being. I'm not used to being in the pros, so I'm sorry. <laughs> well, let's have a look. We're going to start with. Oh, this is a bit brutal. This division, isn't it? Of face value. Yeah. Ooh. Bash sit it and then a Skaven slapped in it. Right. Let's start Skaven with that chaos. Was in the finals. Just say it there. Yes. Yes. So I'm whiskey tornado. Whiskey tornado and his chaos. What are we Keep looking at? Ones. They've been around for a long time. Only one claw. That's nice. I like that. Something different. Not claw. Look at that legend here. Let's just bring Matt up and just bask at his Look glory. At <laughs> Look at that. Agility five. Yeah, Matt's amazing. Block. Two heads, big hand, dodge. It's two heads kind of a bit redundant now, I suppose. No, that means he can no, run through three tackle day. zone and not give a shit. <laughs> oh, oh, this guy is amazing. Matt is amazing. <laughs> it's just amazing. Two agility rolls, damn. Oh, wow. We've got a Chaos Warrior here that's... Will he make legend? Let's have a look. Let's see what he's... Tends to be, oh, he's only missing agility. No one cares about that when you're killing somebody, Does do they? He pretty much do absolutely everything on a two plus. Eighty five, <laughs> big hand, and yeah. two heads. Um, yeah. I'm trying to think of something that would require more than a two. Well, he's got a big hand, so he picks up on a two irrespective of anything. Um, yeah. The. Yeah, there's nothing that's going to impact have, like, on that. Four or five tackle zones around him for him dodges. But how are you going to get four tackle zones for him to dodge through? Unless failing you a put foul. The entire team around him and leave the rest of the team open. Yeah. Failing a foul. Dude, this mm. this team is amazing. I love this. This is the chaos team you don't see. No, this isn't. Ever. But look ever. at the stats: one, two, three, four, five, <laughs> six, six stat boosts. On two four two players. They worship, they worship those chaos gods very well, apparently. Yeah. This is <laughs> this is <laughs> my favourite chaos team. It's not one-dimensionally built. It looks good. It's Mac good. All tentacles as well. Well. Yeah. Oh, Hez, Hez is saying. Um, Fun fact that Matt was his beastman and he sold him to uh, a long time ago. A long time ago. Yeah, a long well, this time. This has been around since like season two. So. Wow. Well, how long has Matt been playing? How many years? Eleven years. Uh, is it eleven since years? Has had him. He's gained yeah. two hundred and fifty SPP. <laughs> 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 That's great. So, so has managed to get him three points. 
is what we're saying. One of those, <laughs> one of those stories where if you're not in the right place, you can't be a star. But if you get to the right place, you can be, right? Yeah. So, getting coached by heads is not the right place. Well, wow, that's a bit harsh. <laughs> oh, he sold him with plus one AG. And now look at him. What a legend. That's how you get this legends this, in the this, league. This team is amazing. Yeah. Right, we're going to move on. We're going to look at some necromantic. The hopeless <sighs> necromantics. And serious jest. Might, might be what the, the fuck has seen, this man. team done? <laughs> this this is team very much has nothing. Has, can I just clear up? We did have to farm our teams properly and not just design them ourselves, didn't we? Dude, what? these guys have been in the league. These guys have been in the league since like season six. I remember doing them last the season, tropes. but what the actual fuck? Why do I have this many stat ups? I haven't got this many players, let alone stat ups. Um, do you have no goals? To be fair, this is probably the healthiest I've seen them in a they long They don't need ghouls. Time. What he does need to do is sort out his roster so it's in the right order. Well, yeah, I can't <laughs> tell. He's just, yeah. I don't know. Jess will be doing that to mess with people. Yep. Yeah, <laughs> to mess with us. He knew that was because of it. last season, he's probably like, I'm just going to do this before the shows anyways. Stat bloat he's, he's all about the numbers, though. Like He likes That's matching players to numbers. And he's, the story is written about these guys. Everything. Go back just amazing. So, just look at him. He's great. I mean, it's the healthiest I've seen it. I mean, he's pro he's probably got a couple transfers, but look at Sleepless has been around in, on this team in the league forever. Most of it's SVP up here. That's Twelve doing, years. So. Wow, I'm just impressed. Oh, I'm being told not to swear because there's kids. Sorry, Monk. Apologize to your kids for me. It's just, I was stunned. I don't know what to say. Look at it. It's amazing. I'm surprised I haven't swore yet. This is great. Okay, just just, just keep going on. Let's just right, keep let's going. go on. This is, this is a, let's go to the Magrida Misfits that have been around the, since the beers season six. Team. This team's not looking... It's looking yeah. okay, but it's looking a bit beaten. Dude, yeah. This team's been in the league as long, or little, I mean, since season six, basically. So it's only had seven games, you know, plus playoffs since then. And wow, look at it. He's one of my favorite coaches as well. That's yeah, Beers is a impressive. good guy. <clears throat> Beers is a good guy. Yeah. Oh, he said he's my third favorite Canadian, so. Who's your first two favorites? Um. <laughs> we don't talk about that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but Ulo is a monster. I, I mean, I played this guy's, I mean, his, we're in the first four, so I played him last season too. And this team can just do everything. Yeah. The, the stack <coughs> will tell him and, him and Bill Cower, Power Hour, and Tail. Tail for days. <laughs> Beers is with us. Look at that. Beers is with us. Just looking. And, um, just under 50%. He, trans he transferred more shots up this season as well. Yes, He's Captain More Shots. He's leader Chaos He's Warrior. Mm. Which is great. I love it. <laughs> uh, leader, leader too. I mean, he's only got two rerolls plus leader, right? And he's got pretty good yeah. TV. Well, that's a uh, perfect amount for chaos. Two rerolls and a leader. But you'll you'll see this is a is kind of a, a theme. He's only got eight players on the roster, right? So. <laughs> well. We beat up. Let's just keep. We'll, we'll, we'll just keep going down the list. Yeah, so on to the legend that is Rand. Oh God. I'm playing. The last horseman. Hashtag four horsemen. I remember watching, looking at this team last season, and I loved all the tentacle. You just had some more players. Where have they gone? <laughs> have you noticed after zero riders, they all died? <laughs> um, you don't like boxers also... anyway. Oh, I, I like the dirty player one. I had a dirty player one from like day one, and he died this season, which was really sad. Um, no rotten I lost, I lost, lost some, my my. I brought up Coffee's nephew, uh, Dysentery, to be a claw killer, and he died. 
last season. You've got then... far, a three strength, five tentacle players. I bet that would be a pain if you're an elf coach. I don't know if you see my beast of Nurgle, though. Let's have a look at him. him. I see the rest of his skills. Oh, yeah, I do recall. He's a, he's a, Tentacles, block, dodge, he's guard. He's a blodge beast of Nurgle. <laughs> <laughs> so this is, this, is, this is funny. Last season, I started the my first game last season I had, I think, eight rotters on the pitch, like loners and stuff, right? Yeah. Because um, my team was decimated. And this season, I'm going to have three loner rotters, and that's it. Like, or four loner rotters. I have zero rotters on the roster. Well, apparently, we need to clear this up, I think. There's word on the street that you've been talking about cutting the great and clean one for five seasons. Yep. And then people can die and I can fit under the cap. And it, it, I can't. He's so good. He's been so good to me. <laughs> He's a blodge Sorry. beast of Nurgle. <laughs> Why would you ever get rid of him? <laughs> it's 220k. <laughs> But he's, how expensive my, my he's amazing. Do you know what? Do you know what though? He is amazing as he is, and he's only got forty-three star player points. He's got so much room to grow. He needs to get stand firm though. So he needs well, to level him up. I think just, he needs break tackle. No. He's got three movement. He's not going anywhere. Yeah. If they're twelve movement, I still wouldn't give stand a beast firm. Nurgle break so tackle. Chicken pox. <laughs> <clears throat> Chicken Pox is my last original Pestigore. He started on the team. Did he really? Let's have a look. Let's have a look. He's, I'm trying to hope he gets to Legendary. He deserves it. I mean, he was built. He was going to start out only being mutations. Seven story, seasons. But... Look at that. 26 touchdowns. What a glorious career. What a glorious career that beat bad. He doesn't. He, he's like my backup ball carrier. I had a, you know, I have pretty good ball carriers that die all the time. Yeah. Um, Gishnigor is supposed to not even be on the team. I bought him just to to carry me through like the last couple games, and then he rolled movement and dodge, and I was like, okay, he can stay. He can stay. He's not. He's he's got potential. Transferred only... in Sick Jagger from Thunden. Well, this Gish has played one season, and he's already got blodge and movement up. So he's got to be good for the uh, future. I've been I've been pretty lucky because um, I was just feeding him the ball, and I wasn't losing it, so I got pretty lucky with that. <laughs> <laughs> so you're winning games enough three. to actually feed SPP to the players. Oh, dude, I That's won well two pro I won two games in the pros, man. <laughs> good job, good job. <laughs> Terrible. Wow, so, yeah, let's, let's go battered. On. Let's go on. Right, okay. Teddy. Another Teddy, I did see in the chat earlier. Team. Yeah, I, I, I like this team from a long time back. I've watched this play a few times over the seasons. They're looking a bit bashed up more than normal. String 6 Tomb Guardian, look at that. I do believe he had to do some cutting of players because um, TV cap issues. Or he might have and to, I'm not sure. Thrower. Yeah, he's had that for a long time. He, he has that very well. Yeah. yeah. It's even armor value six, and it's still kicking about. He's a beast. Look at it. Some... Yeah, yeah. he uses those. Um, we was. I think you actually said exactly the same thing last time um, about being a vampire. But I think those the yeah. scene seen him play those tomb gardens positional is really good. Three blocking two block guardians. guardians. Yeah. I do like this team. I like the way Teddy plays them. There's everything this these team do is good. I won't lie. No, I like that. those. Like like this team has been around forever too. He built this like like this in the league, which yes. is really nice to see. You know. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's great, and I think. But, and he's a great coach. It's gonna be a it's gonna be a rough play in him. Everybody's gonna have, you know, issues. Well, I think what's got, nice. You you said it a couple of times just to hit home on that point. Building teams within the league adds more character to the team. It's what it should be about. I know we've got yeah, a transfer no, market can, for a reason, but... Yeah. <clears throat> well, a lot yeah. of these teams do survive off the transfer market, right? And they got to. Uh, that have been around forever, but... They got to. Yeah. But I think they've almost earned the right to, because they've been around forever. <coughs> I, I can't disrespect the transfer market my team would be completely different without it right I recall this one Colorado Celts 
Georgia Goons. Oh, my first opponent. We should be playing tonight, ish. Ish. Go green. Yes. No. I mean, yeah, go stand. Not, this, this is this will be the fourth green. time. This will be the fourth time call, playing and the goons have played each other. No That'd troll. A little rivalry. <clears throat> we're, we're seeing that there's no troll. <clears throat> um, we need a troll. He's got two. He's got strength four for miles. Yeah, but the troll just sits in the middle and says, "Look, there's another thing for you to deal with." But yeah, maybe but sometimes right. if you have a goblin, one turn touchdown potential, which is beautiful sometimes. Yeah, the chances with a troll is very difficult. Most play, no, most teams in this division have a have a way of handling a troll, right? Yeah. They're all, no one's scared of a troll. They're the least scary big guys, right? So. <laughs> yeah, but you use the troll basically the same as you use your beast of Nurgle. Just plop it in the way and leave it. Well, yeah. My beast of Nurgle's better. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, he's got control. blodge. And tentacles. And tentacles, yeah. Yeah, everything a troll doesn't have and can't oh. get. This is why, Dio, you tend yep. to be the silent one in all of us. Because you don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> How's your game going? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> How's your game going? I drew. You drew? Uh, oh, nice. That's good for you, isn't it? I'm skipping quite a lot. 600k TV down, so. Oh, I'm wow. Quite chuffed with it. Yeah, take that. Right, let's deal with our runners up of last season Fire Talkers Wet Bandits. Asterisk. <laughs> um, These anyways, look a little bit team. bad. Is not a little bit battered? Yeah, they're not looking good. Do you know, I think there, sh there should be reason or room for call. Maybe we should petition to preach. I don't know if it'll go anywhere. That the finalists get to have, you know, a game off where all their injured players can have a rest and a bit of TLC and no. then come back fully fit. Never going to happen. No, I know. He's no. not really missing anything apart from a kill piece. He's not <laughs> one gutter. <laughs> It, what he's missing is he's got 1,200 TV in a, in a play pool. That's going to give him 800 TV every game, basically. So and, he's and, getting and a fourth gutter from the star player list. And not just, just, he's not just clock. missing a kill piece. He's missing His kill piece is missing in a, a, a killy division, and it's got two niggles. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> that's right. fine. Harry's going Harry's gonna to stay around. For a lot longer than he's gonna survive this season too. <laughs> Just watch. These guys, he cheats, okay? Fire cheats and has like 80 12 when he wants it, okay? So. You can tell he cares about the gutters considering he's start name them Gutter Runner 1.2, 3.1. Yeah, and Peter. <laughs> <laughs> look at that, look at that. Are we going to not say anything about the, the Movement 10 speedster? I was just looking at him. At win, right? Yeah, right. I was looking He'll at him. Die. The trouble is, if, he, if he's missing um, for a game or, or... The first game he's playing him on the field, he's, he's exposed and open, ready for people to abuse. Oh, if he's on the field, you go for the one turner. I'm looking forward to these they next kill them all. Matches, kill everything. This That's team's great. This is another team oh, yeah. that Plague has played multiple times. Um, I think they play. They play beers. They play the chaos first game this week. So well, it'll be a, a fun game. Here's something we've overlooked. Pieces. We've got a got a, a line rat with plus strength, plus agility, and wrestle. Oh, we didn't overlook it. We're just ignoring him. Oh, okay. I'll just click off. I on am, you. anyways. Fire and I argue all the time. He he doesn't like throwers, and I think he should. He could have had that a thrower, not a lineman, right? He could have done. <laughs> but you know full well yeah, the throw like throwers, so just sat there with no points and. Yeah, but now you have the guy that sits in front of the thrower. You just pass it off to him to get <laughs> it to one throwers. of the gutters. No, he doesn't use throwers now. No, I understand that shape. Um, I do get that. Right, what's next? Orcs, last of the bash. So that that Skaven team are really up against it, isn't did they? These guys, these, did these, these guys were in the CL finals, right? Yeah, they yeah. were runners up. What are they? Yeah, runners up. Nuclear fission. Yes. Look Sound at that. One. That's a tidy little like roster, it. that is. I like it. Yeah. No troll, again. No, Neither no one thrower. Okay, troll. Okay, right way round. Beers is saying oh, he Beers will get hold of the rat. Yeah. 
And Andy Cook likes to beat the, the line rat. Interesting. But these orcs, I like these orcs. No troll, no thrower. Good standard of base skills. He needs a bit of guard, I think, to survive in his division. Um, I think... Yeah, I think he, he's going to regret lack of guard, but I mean... He's making up for it with just good skills, right? So... And, he, and there's strength for black orcs. So, I mean, he won't get too bold. But it's fine. See, Glowworm is disagreeing with my idea for petitioning to get the uh, finest a day off and some R and R, but I could offer Glowworm a thousand pound. He'd disagree just to disagree with me, because that's Glowworm. That's why I love him so but much. I mean, he he doesn't make such a bad point though. So. <laughs> no, he doesn't. No, he's he's absolutely right. But I can't publicly say that with people watching, because otherwise they'd think you know he's agreeing with Glowworm. What the fuck's that all about? So, who's winning this division? I'm going to not say I'm going anything. I'm going to say let you guys go. Do you know, I'm going to back Teddy. I back Teddy each year, and I think he's going to be in those top two. He's going to the playoffs. Um, his team looks nice. For me, the, the, the chaos he coaches are bashed up, and that could impact them. I'd like to see the Pink Panthers do well. But I don't think they're going to survive well against the Chaosy side, which then leaves Necro to come second. That's what I'm going with. Talismans are up. Um, I don't know. <laughs> awesome, thanks for input. It's going to be a fun, fun season for sure. Um, First four, best four for a reason, right? So yes, this will be a this will be a great uh, great season. So I'm the, I'm just looking forward to it. Yeah, what do you reckon, Overkill? Who's winning this division? It's a tight one to call again, though. I think this division. They all are. It's the yeah. ML, man. They all are gonna be yeah. tight. <laughs> this is why yeah, we I love know, it. It's like hard to say. It's hard to go like right. I think Necro's gonna win. I think this because they've all got key players, but they could all get removed. So a lot of them's got niggles and injured because they've Beer, been around Beer that long. Beers says don't say him. Beers nah, don't says... worry, Beers. I don't think it was going to be you anyway. <laughs> Beers is that perennial. He's been, they've been in the straight pros. They've made. They've not been relegated yet. No. Yeah. Um, and they've been in the pros since like season six or seven. So um, it's always fun to see Beers playing. So. Well, I haven't tipped you this season, <laughs> Beers, but I did back you last season. You're a good coach. So who's going to finish bottom? Do you want me to make you feel better, Beers? I'll accept like beer. Be the punishment for Pink Panther. I like reverse jinx. No, but I think Panther's missing uh, guard, like you said, in this division where a lot of bash teams as well. Unless he picks it up quick, I think he's going to struggle. Hmm. See, I'm... I'm... I'm going to go controversial and I think there's too much in this division for the Skaven. They've got the one turner but once he's gone what happens? What do they do next? And that's my concern. The Orcs can deal with Skaven really well. Always have everything they Dude, need. Fire Talker has come through Fire and Brimstone. Seasons. Yeah, I, those, with I know. Those wet, with those wet bandits. So I mean he, he can work miracles with them so thing about Pink don't, Panthers don't as well, he's got Undead, uh, but worse, week one. Uh, nah. That's going to be a fun game. Uh, uh, That's nah. going to be a good game. Yeah, the Skaven are going to get Wizards every game. It's whether they got Gutter Runners too, I don't know. thing is, like you say... Skitter and Wizards. Skitter, Skitter Stabber and Wizards. And we already you. know. It doesn't matter what I say. I'm going to get it wrong. So I might as well just say them and be done with it. <laughs> <laughs> right. What we need, while Dio gives his call, is uh, Glow Worm. I already set mine. Have you? What division are you in, Glow? Let's do yours because it's not often you uh, pop on and say hello. And I've got a lot of time for you. What division are you in? It's a way to keep him on the track, that is. Are you going to give him a kiss of death? Is that what you want him to do? I don't Predict need to do that. You finished last, but you're still here, so... 
you're not going to finish last this season. No. Glow's got to be in the pros. An SCCWAC. There he is. He doesn't even know himself. Hey, look, he got the SCC on. right. Right, let's look at this yeah, lot. To be fair, lots of people don't know. Well, right, let's start with. Oh, this, this ooh, looks like good. This <laughs> yeah. Let's start with our Welsh brother. With his rats, NTB. TV so high now. Oh, look at that! They look battered and bruised. Wait, what? Wait, there's an actual team there. There what? is. But <laughs> Well, this is not how Rodentia should look. There was, yeah, but yeah, they're usually beat like, up. <laughs> there's too got, many players in this team. He's got more red crosses than some people have got players. Oof. He's got more red crosses he's... than he usually has players. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this is true. true. And he's got a healthy bank balance. Look at his TV. Like this is this team's been around for ever. One of the longest standing pro teams ever, right? So. It's crazy to see that there's like 11 players on this team when it hasn't had 11 players for probably, I mean, I don't know, but probably a long time. But so. he's got four legends and one that's almost going to become a legend this season. Oh yeah, he finished the four gutter runner legends. <sighs> well, Glow's playing his game against Andy at 11 o'clock on Friday, if anyone wants to tune in. I know he'll be twitching out. Hey, read his full message. You could at least mention that you called Andy a Muppet. Oh, right, I'm sorry, yeah. <laughs> I've got that Muppet. There you go. Um, I was just looking at Kid Twist. He's played 11 seasons. So these guys are all set but ready to retire, I think. Did you know yeah, I think half his team is due to retire anyway. They're all pretty old, yeah. They've yeah. all been around since forever, so... <laughs> this is, there's some history on this team. Yes, um, Laser has said um, uh, all games need to be put into the announcements, please. And that's, oh, 2100 he's playing on Friday, 2100. So let's move on to our current reigning champion, Thunden. Now, I did call these guys to win, I'd like to point out, just because they were horrific <laughs> and amazing. And they still are. Look at that, it's beautiful. It's got a tree and everything. Nobody's missing either. No. Nah. Which, which is unusual for what is. Yeah, he's got a I'm a a what, my table? Yeah. I'll tell you what, Glow. We're gonna, I'll show you what's on my table. My girl, my girl drew that herself, freehand. It's part of the Welsh flag. That's something you lack on your flags, a dragon. <laughs> okay, okay, calm it down. <laughs> Probably because they got someone to draw it for them that was about three years old. What their flag? The red flag. Yeah. yeah. Oh gosh. At least they used a ruler. That's a sexy dragon, that is. Right. So back to Thunder's team. He's got a sexy team. Look at that. They they look good. This is weird looking at Wood Elf having like twelve plays instead of like three. This, this is what happens when he wins the championship. He just stays healthy, right? Yeah. <laughs> Ridiculous. But, I mean, he's got more rookies this coming in than he did last season. You know, he's got unskilled players on the, on the team now. That's good. Every, every player was like blodge. But the thing is, this team looks like it's set and ready to go to do it again. Yeah. He does need so to sort his roster out. That. Yeah, of course it is. I mean, he needs to sort his roster out. They're all jumbled up and stuff, but... He also has the worst thrower. How do you work that out? He's got an unskilled He's thrower. thrower. Yeah. It doesn't make him He's the worst thrower. He's not the worst thrower. He's AG4 with pass. Like, it's kind of cool. <laughs> that, that, that guy wins games right there. Yeah. He's, He's played all games. He's a better thrower than I'll ever have. Well, I'm, I'm just going to clear one thing up, see? He's played all season and got two star player points. In my humble opinion, <laughs> that makes him a good thrower because anyone throwing the ball is doing something wrong. Yeah, you heard that here yeah, first. Desperation. Desperation throws, right? So. He's there for if it's needed for one turn touchdowns and stuff like that. If not, you hand off the ball to a catcher or a dancer and away you go. Clearly he's done something right. This is that thrower yeah. has got more 
uh, MML league titles than all of us commentating put together. Just saying. Yep. It's true. Yeah. I wasn't making fun of the tower. <laughs> I wasn't. <clears throat> he can't pick up the ball, but he can pick up a title. <laughs> <laughs> You hear that first? He's got that ring, yo. He's got that ring. Yeah. Yeah. Thunder oh, no. uses him on line of scrimmage, apparently. He's used on the line of scrimmage. You know, that line of scrimmage won a title. Maybe yeah. that's where them points came from. Well, he, you know, that line of scrimmage won him a title. Let's go on to Infinite Darkness. These Dwarf Giant, I would like to point out, this team... This Ugh. team is the team that killed my witch elf last season. I struggled against this team last season. Those witches, it was all about the witches and the linemen. And it's got a bit I... of depth to them now. But... I'm not going to act like a nice guy, but last season I tried to go for them witches. But they're just, they're just too nasty for me. Strength 5 witch, that's just... With niggle. Insane. She's got a niggle. And a strength 4 witch. I don't care. And a strength 4 witch. I've just no. had wrestle in one of them, but I love it regardless. Yeah. <laughs> Where else, with um, which is like his though, do you want to risk trying to put it on floor? Yeah, but it's yes. not about whether you put it on the yes. floor. It's about getting the ball loose, picking up and scoring, and then it doesn't stay on the floor. I love this team. Yeah. Um, not a lot of, there's not a lot of blodge. No, no, blodge, it's, really, it's a lot it's better than it was. Good. It's picked up some guard, which is nice to see. Um... And he's got some skills he's gonna elsewhere. Get, he's going to get a wizard yeah. too. Like, yes, he is. His best skill for dark elves, I think. Yeah. And for any elves, actually. It's, it's, it's developed nicely. He didn't think he'd get promoted. He obviously did. So fair play well, to him. Well, he didn't want to get promoted. Yeah. Think. He deserves it. He should be there. He played he really is. well. <laughs> he did. He did. He did. Right. Andy. Andy Cook. And his Bretts. This team, I love this team. They're one of the first teams I watched whenever I started with the MML. And he's still got the same blitzers running around doing their thing. One of them's about to hit legendary status with uh, Sir Gillard. So I'm hoping I'd see that. But those four blitzers run the show. They're amazing. The amount of stat ups he's got on them blitzers as well. I know, it's great. It's ev everything you need right there. We don't need to look at the rest of the team. He doesn't need the rest of the team. No. He just those four players. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Although the two strength four re uh, blockers is quite nice. I know one of them's got a, an injury, but uh, they're quite nice. I like them. The guard is what's probably better than the yeah. Randy got sold by Laser Trip. Who's Randy? Randy. Where's Randy? Where's Randy? Oh, there. Rat Smasher Randy. This guy here. But I will say... Four guard. Okay. The Holy Squirrel, you need to tune in. <laughs> you need to have a read of his stuff. Um, you need to read the stories for sure, Lee. Yeah, it's, the, it's just a brilliant team. Glowworm is saying that they should all burn because they're heretics. Um, hello? <laughs> You've got it the wrong way round, my friend. They played last season. <laughs> yeah, and you've got it the wrong way round. But talking of Glowworm, let's have a look at this team. Claw and Score. I've played these team. Um, what I think they're missing is a ghoul. It's a shame they didn't pick one up in the transfer market. Because that would have fitted the team nice. No, a second one. Yeah, they kind of miss having two ghouls on this team. Yeah, he's got that same werewolf. That werewolf's been around five years. He's got an injury, our poor little wolfie. But I remember playing him when he first came to the league. He had two strength, four agility, four wells. Absolute beasts. Um, he already gets a plus one in my book for having a dirty player. So. Well, to be fair, Glowworm, the legend that he is, I recall him playing the game ball in hand, he'd set up the players around a guy that's down, run over with the ball handler and fouled with the ball handler. That... Got sent off. No, he didn't get sent off. 
Oh man. <laughs> that is just the way Glow rolls. He just does it. He, I think, just to quote, Glowworm's in the chat, he'll tell me if I'm wrong, but he works on the policy that you you if if you are up on players, you foul to remove that stop them gaining an advantage. If you're down on players, you foul to try and get up on players. And if the numbers are even, you foul, because that way you can eventually be up on on players. I think that's his general persona on things. Just fouling all the time. Just foul. <laughs> no, if that they is... leave somebody on the deck, foul. No, no, he doesn't work like that. That's just rude. Give him some credit. It's only if he's up <laughs> on players, down on players, or the players are the same, does he foul. Okay, my bad. Yeah. <laughs> you, you you understand that? Um, yeah, I I'm, I'm this, a, I love fouling. So under yeah. them specific circumstances, he will foul. Only them specific ones. I want to get those specific. I want to point out this Eye of the Storm 2.0. Now, I'm willing to bet, and he's a dirty player. That's brilliant. That that was one of Jofro's players because that's how Jofro na names his players. And then to give him dirty players is just ironic. I think that's brilliant. I think that's brilliant. It's great. It's a great team. I love yeah. it. Been around a couple of seasons, you know. Yeah. Yeah, I love it. I like this team. Um, so let's go to... Let me see. Undead. <clears throat> Girth. He was Joe Froes, definitely, which has been confirmed. See, this isn't a bad looking team. It's got everything it needs. A couple of injuries. But nothing's shining out. The ghoul's looking nice. Movement Street, eight. My mummy's always nice. Yeah. Strength up block mummy, is he? Always nice. Blow, blow, yeah, blow. Mule, this will be the last oh, one for the night, my friend. Because I'm going to be playing my game shortly after. I'll have a quick cup of coffee, get set, and then I'll probably twitch that out as well for anyone that wants to watch. Me and the humans. So, what do we think to this team? They played really well last season. That Hamlet's one to watch for. You sold, Glowworm sold the Strength 6 block money to one of his opponents for this season. Well, I suppose it means that Glow's a nicer guy than he looks. No, it's because he wants to foul him, kill him, and then pocket the cash. <laughs> strength 6 block money, that's amazing. It's not amazing, I don't like it. You don't like it? Nope, plo. Why don't you like it? I think it? I put him into dead and injured last season. He doesn't What's... like it because it's better than his beast. <laughs> well... Deal, you're not allowed to talk. God. See, I, I'm, I'm gonna... I, I would rather play against that mummy because I can dodge away from him, whereas the beast, I can't. He just tangles me up. So the beast, in my opinion, is better or worse, depending on perspective. I would still dodge away from the beast. Probably fail the tentacles roll, but I'd at least try it. Yeah, <laughs> well, tr try. You do try a lot when you play Blood Bowl. I've watched your games. He tries so hard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've chosen. I, I, I need to learn how to succeed in something. You do. You succeed in entertaining us. I know how you feel. <laughs> Right, let's look we're at the halflings. The yeah, we're on the next thing. Yes. We're looking at halflings. We're looking at a team that I believe made playoffs. They did. They won their, 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 won their play pool and won the playoffs. They did. He's got they some... Won their play pool undefeated. I'd like to point yeah. out, he's got 15 players, which is okay. I get that. He's got a, 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 two armor bus players. Why hasn't Sackram just bought new? He's got 230k in the bank. His team he's, value is still only a 118. He sent a message into General saying that he planned to do it, but he forgot. So now ah. he's accepted the ticket. He's honouring <clears throat> the rules and not amending his team until after his first game. Okay. Yeah, that's a well, it doesn't matter. He's going to have... It's not like he's got that much blow. No. <laughs> this, this play pool's cut. Oh gosh, it's gonna be great. It's, it's just not that he's not got room in his roster though for many star players. He only needs deep root. Yeah, he job does. done. He only needs two got... star players. <clears throat> deep root and puggy or two star players. Yeah. With yeah. the missed next games, he's got enough space. 
Yeah. What odds that count towards that point? Didn't know yeah, that. space on the roster. Yeah, I like halflings. They're a great team. I've been messing about oh. with them in farm. I, I admire him for getting how far he did with the team. They're just stupidly hard to play. That is, is a great coach, though. Well, Halflings <laughs> Dwarfs, yeah. I'd like to point out, is actually a really Beating, good matchup for Halflings. Beating Dwarves, especially Dino's Dwarves, is not really special. more no. deep root <laughs> and that block demon, so 3 strength 6 plus with block. Mill, we will look at doing you tomorrow, half seven. Nice we'll start. Make sure you're there for half seven. Remind us where to start, and yours will be first up. How about that? I can't say <laughs> fairer than that. Halflings. Tomorrow, so. I like halflings. So, last but not least, the legend that is Jofro. The legend, huh? Well, he is quite possibly the nicest guy in the MML. Apart from he's not actually watching our stream, so he's gone down. Let me just what? message him. He will tell you, but he will apologise by filing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love it. I like this. I like the way he plays. I like the there will be that like genuine team. remorse whenever he hurts you, but he will keep hurting you. Yes. Yep. <laughs> he doesn't like that. Doesn't her. sum up the MML. I don't know what does. What's that? People that are hurting your players being, being really sorry about it. That sums up the MML to me. Yeah, well, definitely Jofro. He's he's knocked players out and apologised to me for it. And he I loves... Always, I always apologise when I knock people into the engine. I feel sorry, but it's part of the game. You need to do it sometimes. But for me... Yeah, I... I, get, I get that, but, you know, these are... these are You have to write a story to enter this league, right? Like this, yeah. These teams have stories. These teams have... A lot of them have history from for years, literally years, because of how long they've been in the league, you know. Um, and so and I think that's important. Like, try to kill them. Like, if you're coming in just to kill them, which I don't think that's most of the MML, you're not coming in to kill them. You know? But if you're coming in just to kill those stories, that's where, you know, you're going to see the negativity. So. <coughs> yeah, I like Joe. I like Joe Fro's team. I like Joe Fro. I like Jackie Slan. I think that's probably one of his favourite players. Um... I, I love that. Bear was his favourite player. Who? The bear? The funny bear. beast. Yeah, yeah, and he always he always t talks to the bear in such a nice way. Block, break, tackle, Who tackle, guard. Yeah, it block and tackle on a bear is amazing. Especially with the, the tensile, the prehensile tail. Which makes no tackle sense tail. to me. What's Ooh, that? How does it not? What, how does a bear have a prehensile tail? Have you seen it's his tail? Whale. He's a nice big chain. It's a chain. He's a carnival chain. Yeah, it's a carnival. He's a carnival animal, man. Yeah. Shouldn't be chaining bears. Well, they did do in the oh, no. circuses. To be fair, let's just He's recap. He's crocs, okay? <laughs> yeah, and also, yeah. Sh you, you're absolutely one. right. We shouldn't chain up bears, but nor should you put them on the blood bowl pitch. Yeah, you should. Oh, he right. might choose to be there. He's got goats to chase down. This is true. <laughs> and to be Leave fair, my alone. <clears throat> he doesn't look chained, he's just carrying a chain because his big mighty paws aren't enough to damage people. Yeah, he's gonna whack him with a chain should instead. should have claw. Yeah. That's right, I think like instead of tail. should have spikes. Yeah, and cl yes, no. Clown Not has pointed out he is very tame now. So, yeah, there we go. That's that set of teams so I'm gonna ask you guys who's winning it I mean I have to go repeat right I mean until he <laughs> until otherwise I think Thunder's gonna win it again no, no I'm <coughs> gonna go with Brett's I would like to see Andy, Andy win it I'd like to see Andy win it because I think I love his team um but it's difficult to look past a healthy elf team that are like they are. Um, There's also not really enough to take down the elves, or enough tackle in this division for them. Well, the dark elves could do the magic. They've got the right sorts of players, and they'll be packing wizards, and they can do any magic wood elves can do. So that could be enough. Um, the Bretts aren't picking up wizards, so, you know, it's who does the damage. Um, I'd love to There's see Glowworm do well. Love to see Glowworm doing well, just because he'd get embarrassed um, for achieving 
you know, I don't think he will because I think those L's are going to be too much. But I'd love to see him do well. Um, who's finishing bottom? I actually don't know. Everyone wants to say the halflings, I but Dan. Want to say the halflings, <laughs> but it's Tor. Yeah. I don't, I don't want to the halflings. I want to see them do well. His choices of inducements are just fantastic. Yeah. Well, the thing is, you take when you take the hot part, you're you deny most of these teams had two rerolls. You're denying them reroll ability. Then you stick in some extra bits and bobs. <clears throat> the downfall he's got is the likes of the Wood Elves can pick off players as they choose, so they don't have to go to toe to toe with the trees. Um, you know, you you take the undead, the Bretts possibly, and Necro. The trees are then going to get in their faces a bit, which is where he picks up points. I don't know. NTB's got a full team. No one fancy him to win? Mm. No. I can never discount him, but usually his team breaks. <laughs> <laughs> you say he's got a full team, but they're really like all at like half half ability, right? With all the yeah. Players. No, not really. <laughs> they're injured, but they've got so many <clears throat> skills and stats. They're really battered and bruised, though. Right? Takes one good tackle on them. He's got I four. Hit, like, gone. <laughs> I, it's one good tackle on him for about seven seasons. It's coming. <laughs> it no, I'm not saying he's I'm not saying they're gonna die, but to knock him, even to knock him out is pretty. But pretty it's easy. just been pointing out he has got four legendary gut runners. I didn't realize that first. Did we? Yeah, I didn't legendary. realize. And that storm vermin. Wow. Has a high chance but of making it to legendary this season. Yeah. He's got two. Two of those four legendary gutter runners, though, are uh, armor six. That uh, doesn't mean a lot. They've been armor Strength six two. forever. This is, you don't realize these guys have been armor They're six for armor six ever. with nickels on them, but yeah, they perform forever. <laughs> ever. That's, that's, right. This is this is this is like the MML team right here. Like, yeah. They've been around forever, and, and just, just so no I'm head. I'm saying I'm saying, <laughs> Thunder and Andy are gonna top the division. <clears throat> I'm going to go with, um, let me think, Dark Hills to finish last because the Witchers, their injury is going to catch up on them. And when that's gone, they're, they're at uphill battle because they're lacking other positionals. That's what I'm saying. I can't say any more than that. What do you reckon? Who's finishing last? I want to. I'm gonna probably say the dark elves. I think they're. They, they need some more. We love you, Thunder. I tipped you to win it last time. Clearly, it worked. It weren't a curse then. They only curse beers. <laughs> that's why I hate making calls. I don't want to say yeah. anybody who's gonna win, who's gonna come last. But that's part of the fun. Oh, yeah, we've been when... doing it for seasons, man. But you don't understand how unlucky I am. Well, maybe not, but it's, you've just got to do it. That's part of the responsibility we hold. We sit here for two hours, chat shit, while people listen to the drivel that we talk about, and then we make predictions that don't necessarily come true. <laughs> <laughs> and we mock Dio. It's so good. It's so good. And Wait, we mock when Dio. When do I get mocked? Most of the time. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> not paying attention. <laughs> yeah. Too much folks on your game. This, uh, what's that? What's Thunder saying? He's not aiming for anything but entertainment now. Yeah, it's, it's, I'm sure last he said in general that this is his last season and he's going to fetch something fun next season. Is he going back to his Nurgle? Bring Nurgle in, bash. yes. Come on, let's bring Nurgle back. Or is he going back to his orcs? The stew Four is saying it's days. Year of the Squirrel. Year it of the Squirrel. It could be Goblin if he's thinking fun. There's nothing fun about Goblins. Let's just clear that up. I thought Vampires would be fun. That was not. Never again. So I'm still waiting for a last place, gentlemen. I said the dwarf are the dwarf There's no giant dwarfs in there. Oh, you said dark elves. <laughs> yeah, the dwarfs. <laughs> he, 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 okay, his name, I'm sorry. The dwarf. 
So Dark what do you reckon, I Theo? Ready, yeah. I still want to save the halflings, but Tor will destroy me for saying that. Okay, come on over, Kill. You've joined the channel now. What are you saying? Halfling, it's halflings or elves. Halflings or dark elves. There we go. Depends how well halflings use the inducements. <clears throat> Joe froze last. The stew has called it. The stew has called it. Joe froze last. But he's a nice did. guy. He, yeah, but. Well, you know, listen, nice guy to finish last. Ooh, oh ooh, my gosh. ooh, Thunder's trash talking. He's saying Glowworm will easily finish last. <laughs> Ouch. Yeah, that I know. Rude, <laughs> well, I believe, I believe Thunder will be seeing you soon down at um, Sawball. Not Sawball, whatever it is that he, yeah, he runs Sobol. down there. Sawball, is there? So, uh, we'll have to. I think I played you, didn't I? We played down at Sawball. You had Dark Hells and I had Orcs. Good orcs. Yeah. Yeah. So there we are, guys. We've done three. We've done three. So what we need to do is tomorrow we'll reconvene for about half past seven. Same again. And we'll do three more. And then we'll bring it all back to finish off with two. Um, job done. Easy peasy. Three out of eight. Yes. Three out Not of bad. eight. No. Meanwhile, all right. Well, I probably won't be here tomorrow, so good job. Well, good luck. What I'm going to I mean, do, <laughs> Thundon, love you, man. Um, Thundon doesn't want a reminiscence about that game because I beat him, so we won't tell anyone that I beat him in that game. Um, I don't believe you. That Thundon lost. It was bloody. So did you cause a lot of injuries in that bloody game? I don't know. I can't remember. I know it was Dark Hours Orcs. Um, I couldn't even tell you the score off the top of my head. Um, Probably six now. Oh, what do you remember? No, 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 no. Lost. That's all I need to remember. And he's a good guy. He's an absolute cracking guy, so I can't fault him there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to make a quick cup of coffee. I'm going to be playing um, Hornet next in a minute. I'm going to drop the channel. I'll stick it back on. Turn 16 winner it was. 1-0, I think. Or 2-1. <clears throat> um, put the channel back on so we've got a new save. And then I'm going to play my first game of the season. So if anyone's about to watch that, by all means, join me. If not, it was been a pleasure, and we'll see you tomorrow, guys. And thanks to the uh, Good luck in your first game. the team. Thank you very much. See you guys. Right. Bye bye. Catch you later.